My friends would describe me as probably quite eccentric and flamboyant and uh, I mean, it was a joke since childhood, I would always say, yes, I am a flamboyant bisexual. Just not bisexual, I'm flamboyant about being bisexual. Yeah, they would just say, yeah, he's, could be over the top or, or loud or bright or, you know. We were banding together some ways that, and uh, expressing our rights of freedom to, to, to expand our rights. I and mean, we actually had to fight back a little bit by just saying we're here, we're queer and all that sort of stuff and whatever phrases you want me to say about that, we just by, by dressing gay or dressing bi, it seemed to be tolerable for rock stars to do it, but for the average Joe on the street, they would put you down. And now, it, now it's like trendy or something, but it wasn't trendy then. Well, it was nice to have a, a, a peer group that you felt like you could join and you were treated uh, with respect and maybe uh, nobody's going to suddenly beat you up. Because remember, I'm a child when I came out here, basically a young teeny bopper. In the gay bars, I always felt safe, you know. And then as soon as you stepped outside, they wanted to kill you. <laughs> but, uh, well, unless we came out as a herd or something like that. And it's, it's sad that people have to do that roar around in big herds just to feel safe. We, f we felt safe because they were playing our music. They weren't playing uh, redneck rocker music. They were playing uh, mostly disco, I suppose, in those days. But it was it was music uh, that that you felt like uh, like Small Town Boy, maybe by Bronski Beat or something. You know, songs that I was actually living. I was living the songs he was singing about. So somebody's singing about my lifestyle, and that's good as opposed to me just being in some bar listening to a song that's got nothing to do with my lifestyle. I seen instantly within a couple of days because AIDS came in in November 1983, patient zero and all that other bullshit they were spouting. Uh, most of my gay friends start, started dressing straight and were ashamed of either dressing gay or bisexual or, or lesbian or whatever. And, they, and I thought, fuck this, I'm gonna dress as flamboyantly as I can. I just kept getting even more, like I said, I'm not backing down now. I'll, I'll dress whatever I, I like. And some days I would dress very butch and some days I would dress like a drag queen. <laughs> Things change, uh, especially in Vancouver and other places, because here I get to see it. Uh, I did notice uh, the, the rainbow movement, as I used to call it when I was a kid, I still do, uh, became more business oriented. And it, that's good for us, but it's also bad for us, because it used to be about giving it all away for free, and that's, when, that's what love to me is, love is unconditionally given away for free. But then the gay pride festivals came in, and, the, and it became like selling flags and all that sort of stuff, and it's, it's, it's actually good and bad, like anything. Yeah, a sword can cut you, but it can also save you, so. By gender fucking, I'm mixing feminine and masculine clothing all together, like say I'm wearing an army boot with a little pink dress. Well, the, the army boots are very masculine. The pink dress is considered very feminine. Uh, and when I was a kid, all bars had dress codes. Even gay bars had dress codes. And I've always rebelled against that, even the gay bars. I'd say things will keep changing. Hopefully they'll get better, but uh, some days it might seem to be worse for you, but it'll slowly get better because I, I, uh, I've been seeing it for a long time that we're slowly expanding our own human rights. And so I'm, I'm very positive about what things are happening. Some days might seem a bit dreary, but uh, yeah, it's getting better. It was the punk movement that just said, I'll wear anything I want to wear. We, we stretched it. And we had to because uh, we, were, we were fighting for rights. In my case, I was using dance and clothing. How I want to impact uh, the queer community is just stay strong, like uh, show people that you can be proud of who you are at any age. Because now I'm not 15, I'm 65, turning, six, turning 66. So I can show them you can be an older, whatever label you throw on yourself, whatever pronoun I throw on myself, and be proud of my own pronoun, or a variety of pronouns in my case.